Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about something that I think we often take for granted in our society, and it's something that I want to draw conscious awareness to, and it's something that I think is really bad, and I think a lot of people don't seem to realize how bad it is. And that is the shaming of people for ignorance, and the idea that it makes you somehow a better person if you know more, and that it is somehow like morally wrong or makes you less of a valuable person if you don't know certain things. I heard people use the word ignorant a lot growing up, and it was typically thrown around as an insult. People would be like, oh, that comment was so ignorant, and kind of along with this idea of a comment being ignorant is this moral judgment uh, passed on the person, that it's somehow bad or wrong to make an ignorant comment. And people would also talk about people as being ignorant, so it's like, oh, he's so ignorant, or like, they're so ignorant. And it was like a put down. And I never really thought about this consciously until one day I was in a group of people and someone raised the concern, they're like, well, the term ignorant just means not knowing. Why is that an insult? Like, I don't perceive that inherently as an insult. And they asked this question, and when I started thinking about it, the whole idea kind of unraveled in my head, and I became consciously aware of how there's this kind of unnecessary and problematic judgment going on when we use that word. That like, there's not anything inherently wrong with not knowing things. Like, we start off life, and we don't know anything when we're born, and then over time, we learn more and more things. But the world we live in is incredibly complex, and people are limited by the circumstances they're in, and they're limited by their mental capacity, and they're limited by what they happen to be exposed to. So I think in terms of any person's knowledge, there's a degree to which each person is just doing the best that they can do, given the machinery that they have to work with, and the cultural context, and the life experiences that they've uh, had up until that point. So I don't think that it's healthy or good in any way to shame people for their ignorance, for their lack of knowing anything. Um, now sometimes people use the term ignorant to mean something kind of more than just not knowing. Like, it seems to have this extra level of analysis in it. I've heard people use the term willful ignorance. I really disagree with this sort of analysis of things. Like, I think that there's this idea that if people hold a viewpoint that you consider wrong or offensive, that it's somehow more intentional than viewpoints that you don't necessarily consider that way. So examples would be like racism, sexism, homophobia, things like that. Those are the types of viewpoints that I hear people often describe as like willful ignorance. And I really don't like this way of analyzing things, because Again, I tend to believe that people are just doing the best they can. And like, I grew up in a setting where I was made consciously aware of some of these problematic elements of our society, but there are others that at least initially I took for granted. Uh, and I'm, I'm not going to go back in time and judge my earlier self for not being aware of those things sooner. And, you know, even if someone's in their 60s, 70s, 80s, whatever, like, they've had a long time to think about these things, well, I don't want to judge them for that. They grew up in a different era. I want to be supportive of people wherever they are on, on their journey. So I want us to kind of throw out the idea of willful ignorance, and throw out the idea that being ignorant or not knowing of something is in any way bad or wrong. When we do that, I think that we can adopt this really awesome and positive approach towards people who don't know things. Like, we can be supportive of them, and we can help them through the process of gaining new knowledge and new information that might question some of the ideas that they're voicing that we don't like, 
but it's this supportive approach. The idea is not like, oh, I'm going to judge you and say that you're a bad person because you hold this ignorant view. It's like, oh, this person, you just voice this viewpoint and I think it's based on misinformation and I want to point that out to you and I want to share my information with you and I want to support you as a human being. I want to talk to you in a way that uh, validates your worth as a human being and helps you into a new level of knowledge and understanding. That's how I want us to approach people. So how do I actually do this? I don't use the term ignorant pretty much at all now. I'm using it in this video, but I don't use it in casual conversation because of that negative connotation, because it's associated with this shaming and moral judgment. Uh, and I try to like approach people in this idea of helping them and validating their worth while breaking down problematic ideas. Uh, and I would encourage you all to do that. I found it's incredibly effective much more effective than this sort of moralizing and shaming approach that is unfortunately very common in our society. I think that a more positive approach can produce profound results of much more quickly advancing truthful viewpoints and breaking down untruthful and problematic ideas. So I'd love to hear from you if you have something to say, if there's something that you're not quite fully on board with, uh, I'd love to hash it out with you, so please leave a comment. And uh, as always, if you really like what I have to say, please share this video because I really want it to reach more people. Thank you.